Hello all. Today in this small video we be talking about a mean value articulator. A mean value articulator probably every one of us has used it ever since we have been in first BDS or probably second BDS. Mean value value articulators basically come in two designs. One on the left is the old fashioned one and the one on the right is probably the new newest designs that come up although the difference only being this has certain mounting discs attached to it so it can, it has an extra pair so you can probably use it for different cases at the same time let us talk about the parts of a mean value articulator we have the upper member the lower member we have the vertical rod we have the incisal pin the incisal guide table out here the thumb screw out here which basically holds the vertical rod and maintains the vertical of the articulator we have the condyler elements out here the condyler slot if you can see which is generally spring loaded we have the occlusal plane analyzer or occlusal which determines the occlusion plane and we have these removable pins these removable pins are generally used while demounting the articulator although this condyler slot is spring loaded but generally is of no use since it, they are not adjustable now we also have although not seen clearly in the picture we have a triangular arrangement something very similar to what we see in this picture out here this is just the support and is only used for support and has no other value now why now coming to the next point is why the name mean value articulator the name mean value articulator is only because it is taken the dimensions of the articulator are taken from a mean of an average population the means be the dimensions being the intercondylar distance that is the distance from this point to this point is is 110 millimeters now the angulation of the condylar slot in which this is placed is 33 degrees and the angulation of the incisal guide table is 10 to 15 degrees now these because of these three values 1 2 and 3 the name mean value articulator comes because it is from a mean on of an average general population now coming on to the name non archon type of an articulator why is it called so this is if you look carefully the condyler pin is basically attached to the upper member whereas when you see in a human jaw the condyle is generally attached to the lower jaw this arrangement of the condyle is totally opposite to that of a normal human jaw that is why the name non archon type of an articulator comes in by this video i hope i would have solved your queries on the parts and the name of the articulator thank you